about that. Just the green. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like, what is it? Why is he so clapping at me? Um, uh, you know what? Uh, that that it, yes, it was made. It was made up. It was a very secret thing that uh, Tina wanted me to tell her. Uh, we have we have a choreographer, Davi, who who uh, did most of the uh, choreography. But I uh, purposefully hid what I was gonna do okay. for that because so it'd be a surprise to everyone. Yeah, because I don't like to show people comedy before I do it. Right. But on a movie, isn't that hard when you have to do it eight times? Uh, I don't. I think I, for that we only did it like a was like, like one master. I think it was like yeah. very yeah, and 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 that was easier because it was just like basically I did it the first time and then she was like do this or don't do this. And did David do his times. first? Yeah, because they uh, Melvin Van Peoples and David Allen Greer, they the whole Corey thing. Grant. Yeah, right, because it's right. it's it's very regimented. They've got the thing that they're doing through history and, and with the frats and things like that. And mine was clearly supposed to be, you know, everything. All the wheels fall off. Yeah, Are you so. Greek? Am I Greek? Thank you. I mean, I met you know. I, I do. I pledge. Yes, I pledge. Yes. I've you know. I've never. You know. I went to NYU, and uh, frats aren't that big a thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in, in like yeah. I was like, I got enough friends. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's how that went. So Talk about your character, okay? Because yeah. I love the role you guys played on that. How much fun was it for both of you? For both of us. It was super fun to have this guy as a little brother. Yeah, that was Even, fun. We definitely did. had a good time. Um, it was interesting on the day, getting there in our rehearsals, figuring out what the dynamics were um, with our relationships. And I think that was really important for the Simon character to figure out why he was so stressed and like you know and on edge all the time by you know looking to Callie and Carrie. And you know, I just I think we fostered a good relationship and it translated. On screen, I'd like to believe so. Yeah, I think from the moment we met, we just kind of became a family. Like, even just to see all of us greeting each other in the yeah. hall before coming into the interviews, mm -hmm. we wanted to be together whenever we could be together. Whether we were filming, if we weren't in the other person's scene, we were there watching with yeah. the other person. So we still keep in touch, even though the movie is over. We really <laughs> formed, a, we formed a family bond, which doesn't always <laughs> happen. Sometimes yeah. the movie ends yeah. and you just kind of progress into the next thing, but we've progressed and our relationship has progressed. Yeah. And I think you can see our bond in the movie. Yeah, we still Kelly, pretend to be friends to this day. Kelly, do you, uh, this is kind of, um, I thought, uh, interesting because Tyler Perry's movies have always been this church-based thing, and this is the first time there's really been a positive presentation of a gay couple in a Tyler Perry production. Did you get any um, feeling about taking a big historic step here or anything like that? One thing I really liked about the movie as a whole when I read the script is that there was nothing stereotypical about any of the characters. I mean, the people's family could have been done with an Asian family, could have been done with a Caucasian family. It wasn't really about the ethnicity of the people so much as just the culture of them. So for us, I guess, in the movie, it's the culture of uppity, rich people with the... Uh, with a lot of judgment going on and, and how that hinders their relationships within the family and with people outside the family. Um, as far as the sexual orientation of the characters, I really, really liked that the two lesbian characters were just women. You know, they just happen to be in a loving relationship, but when you see them on screen, there isn't like a which kind of woman or like a lady with a mustache or any of the crazy, <laughs> crazy comical, you know, uh, presentations of what a lesbian character is supposed to be. It just so happens that these two beautiful women are in a relationship together. And if you didn't know that, you wouldn't even know what to expect. So it really opens you up to, to the elements of surprise that are really going to be coming throughout the movie. Yeah. Also, I, th I think if you no seriously, I think if you look at the work of all of the actors in this movie, um, I think it's probably a little unexpected for for this sort of comedy. And I think the reason is because we all looked at the material and thought this is great. This is something that's ubiquitous and that everybody can relate to. And we're not trying to stick to a niche. We all thought like this is funny, and we all really respected the the work of each other. So, I I, I think that's what's that's the result that winds up happening. Yeah. And because it had such universal themes, like it gave us the opportunity to to really have something to play with. You know, the characters were great on paper, but it also didn't tell you how you should play them in the writing, you know? So it gave us a lot of room to be creative in our portrayal of these people, which is really cool because you don't often see people on screen that represent people the way you see them 
in life, you know? So to be able to have real honest portrayals of a family and of a gay couple and of um, a young guy trying to make it as a, a kid's counselor, albeit a counselor with a K, <laughs> you know, it's just the, the plight of many people, the, the comedy that ensues, but also the warmth and the, the reality. And I was happy that Tina really encouraged us to, yeah. to capture that and to maintain it throughout the movie. Can okay. you talk to me about working with Kimry? Oh my God, Kimry. <laughs> She's the first right. woman I've ever kissed on film. Yeah, right. Yeah. I was there. I was there. She will, go down, <laughs> she will go down in the history of my life as the first woman I've ever kissed on film. Awesome. Um, and I was, and I'm in that scene. When you kissed on film. That's, that's yeah, no, the yes, on, on film. Yeah, on film. <laughs> um, she was really great to work with. Um, we all really just had such a such an instant chemistry and that was really important because I haven't played many characters that are just sexual in nature in any way, you know, heterosexual or otherwise. I think so, all your characters are sexy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we support each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We support and we compliment each other unnecessarily at all times. So. <laughs> but that adds to the magic, you know, that's Hollywood. That's Hollywood. That's Hollywood. answer to every question. Yeah. All right. I love Hollywood. making this movie. It's Hollywood. But yeah, no, working with Kimry, she was amazing. She was really, she brought a lot of energy to her role that was unexpected. Because, I mean, again, knowing that I was going to have a girlfriend in the movie, I don't know what that means. I didn't know what she was going to do. And you really never knew what she was going to do from one moment to the next, so it kept the scenes alive and very fresh, you know, and sometimes she would improvise things that were really funny, and a few of them stayed in the film, and I think people were really going to enjoy watching her on screen. Did yeah. you improvise a lot? I mean, because uh, she's a writer-director, but she wasn't obviously very tied to her script. She let you guys all kind of go. I think, you know, the situations allowed us to uh, kind of improvise. I think we, you know, had good rehearsal time, which is great, and we were able to work out a lot of the stuff there, but as you saw with, like, you know, Malcolm's dance and some of our performances and all of that in the film, she just kind of said, you know, here's your opportunity, just have fun with it. I know, especially with the whole draws on the floor bit, we, you know, kept adding things to the box, you know, adding things that, you know, I could end up doing and, you know, playing around with as, you know, you find the funny on the day. Uh, so I think that's really what makes Tina a great writer-director, which is she gives you opportunity to be, you know, a good actor to do the work, rather than, you know, making you commit to what's on the page. Okay. Was she far more experienced than you would expect from a first-time director? It didn't feel like like it was a first time. Yeah, she's right. She's very yeah. confident. She knows I mean, she it is her first time directing, but it's not her first time on a movie, so mm -hmm. I think you learn a lot of things by osmosis. She's been around for a long time. And also she picked people who who were lighthearted about what we were doing but also, anxious to work with her. Also she you know, she wrote it, which I always like writer directors, because you know they know what they want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they saw it first. So it wasn't, you know, this kind of thing of she's trying to figure out her shot or you know, what works best for the story. She's already seen it as she was writing it. Yeah. She was she was amazing. <clears throat> Tyler, talk to me about like uh, where where you were coming from with this character and if mm -hmm. you know this guy and how much fun you had with that. Um, I definitely know this guy. Um, you know, I was, when reading it, that's what I thought was so funny, which was I know kids who, you know, come from successful parents. And, you know, their older siblings are successful, so there's all this pressure on them to also be, you know, super successful. So I just thought that was really, you know, fun to play with the stress level that just kind of builds throughout the, the film. Um, and it was, you know, Simon was a great time, really, is I'd love to, you know, do more of it, actually. Uh, is he a kleptomaniac or not? Yeah, I mean, he's, <laughs> he's not a full-blown kleptomaniac. It's his one, like, outlet, in a way. You know how, you know, you see those kids who have never had to necessarily, you know, work to get money to buy anything, so the way of feeling like they work for it is stealing it. You know, that's his thing. Um, so it was fun, you know, finding, that was also things that Tina left open, you know, in each scene I had a pitch or something to steal. You know, <laughs> in the grocery store, there's this scene where I just grab chips and just walk away, and she's like, yeah, just steal things throughout the film, <laughs> and it'll be in the background, and we'll see if we'll pick up any of it. Were you, no, were you this guy seven years ago, or were you friends with this guy? <laughs> this or were you friends guy? with this guy? I was friends with this guy. Ago. Yeah. I was friends with this guy. <laughs> I feel like I've run into you seven years ago.